Thanks for joining us. I'm David Sears, and these are some of the stories we are following in our area. Police looking into whether a medical episode caused a driver to leave a trail of destruction on the city's southeast side. Around 1030 last night, police said a 57-year-old man blacked out behind the wheel. His vehicle crashed into four front porches in the 300 block of Fair Avenue. He was taken to the hospital and told police he doesn't remember anything. He was tested for alcohol, and police say he was not drunk, but may have had a seizure. At the Capitol in Austin, fallout from a ruckus day in the state legislature. Protesters filled the building and lawmakers nearly turned violent on the House floor. Tensions allegedly escalated when GOP Representative Matt Rinaldi told a group of Hispanic representatives that he had called ICE on demonstrators. Rinaldi says when he told Democratic colleagues about his call to ICE, he was threatened by Representative Alfonso Navarez and assaulted by Representative Ramon Romero. No, they were saying stuff to me. I was saying stuff to them. Both of them designed to incite each other. We were both very, we're, every, all sides were emotional. Now, Rinaldi says he replied by saying he would shoot in self defense if necessary. Navarez on Twitter called Rinaldi a liar, and Romero denied the assault allegation. Early voting for local runoff races begins today and will run through June 6. Six of the 10 council seats are headed for a runoff, as well as the mayoral race. Election day is on Saturday, June 10th. And that's all for now. We'll have the latest headlines at KSED.com, and you can always find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for joining us.